Welcome to This Is Your Spotlight. I am your host, Eurydice Roman. Today, I am here with, let's see, the dynamic, the supportive, the, I think she's awesome, and you're going to do too. And if you don't, te lo perdite. <laughs> I am here with La Bucci. Hello. So if you don't know who she is, we're going to let her explain that one. Go ahead, sis. Go on. Explain who you are. Bueno, bueno, mi gente. Tienen tiempo. Hola, everybody. Um, La Pucci is so happy to be here. I am a singer, songwriter, yes. actress, um, teacher, um, dancer, choreographer, a little bit of everything. And I am here to, because I am fulfilling my dreams because God is good. And I'm so grateful for you for allowing me this opportunity um, to spread. Uh, not only my talent, but my brand. And um, so thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm so grateful. And um, hopefully I can motivate and inspire everyone out there to just follow their dreams and just keep it going. And that's that's important and we need that nowadays, especially with everything that's going on. For you sure. I got to give it to um, our pe you know, people after a certain age are starting to create content and kind of lead it in a positive direction because sometimes nowadays the content is so they're trying to say a message but it's so garbled and lost in translation that you're like oh you was trying to do something good okay i i couldn't get past the booty shaking and the and you know <laughs> i totally get it and you and you slapping somebody okay yeah right. sure. i think yeah i mean there's different strokes for for everybody different strokes for different folks but i think um when you kind of live through it you know you have experience with age comes experience Absolutely. and you kind of learn from your mistakes and you learn what to do and what not to do so it kind of and especially when you're moving in your purpose it becomes a little easier you know yes. i i've always been a kind of like a leader not a follower you know, right. so usually, you know, I know trendsetters and people like that, they kind of look what trying to do what everybody else is doing because it's, you know, for likes or whatever. I follow my instinct. I follow my gut. I follow, you know, what's aligned for me because look at that patita pati and nobody could take that away from me. No matter how long it takes, it can happen in your teens, in your 20s, in your 40s, in your 60s. Only God knows that. But just keep going. Don't stop trying. Exactly. So tell us about your brand. You spoke about your brand briefly. Yes. Um, La Pucci's Closet, um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, we have a website. It's called La Pucci's Closet. It's available at www.lapucci'scloset.com. And we sell apparels like this T-shirt. We sell bucket hats and we specialize in um, tote, tote bags. I saw a little different other um, merch stuff, but for now, we kind of launched with that. But there's more coming, so if you haven't checked it out, please go and check us out. And also, I am the brand. My family and I are the brand. This is a family-owned business, <laughs> family-operated. Um, I'm not a solo act. It's me. I'm in front, but it's my whole family. So shout out to my Pucci team, my tribe, because without them, I would not be here. So I'm grateful for them. Yeah, so we're going to show what she's talking about. Because <laughs> seeing is believing here, folks. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as she was saying, this is um, her brand here. Yes. Up Gucci's Closet. So, here is a bucket hat says LPC. Um, what is, okay, it's a, di it's a rumbus or a diamond. And what are the leaves in the center? Well, that represents like us planting a seed and like our right. dreams, our, our goals, our inspirations, what, what we wake up every morning and we want, like, that's what I want to keep doing. So that's what the plant represents, you know, when you plant a seed and you water it by doing the steps and, you know, working hard and doing, taking care of yourself and practicing, it grows. You know, this was just an idea that I came up with. And thanks, shout out to my daughters who are amazing behind the scenes. My daughter, Emily, and my daughter, Isabel, they pretty much built this, this website from the ground up for me. And it all started with a seed and, you know, a thought. Uh, my, my father's mother uh, was a healer. 
in the Dominican Republic. And um, so that's like an homage to my father's family, La Familia Espiral Taveras, de Babel de Mao. So shout out to, you know, Babel de Mao, mi gente allá en República Dominicana. Ooh. So, yeah, so it's, a, it's, an, it's kind of like um, paying homage to where, I, where I'm from, you know, and because they, our ancestors are were kind of, you know, brought us here. I'm a first generation American from my, my family. So this is a huge, you know, for, for us to, to accomplish this. So the, the leaf that plant represents like Republica Dominicana, my father, my mom, you know, my roots, where I'm from. And um, the bucket hat, I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx. And that's a signature thing. You know, we put on some hoops and some lip gloss and, you know, we pop it. So that's a signature BX Boogie Down Bronx um, thing. And the tote bag, listen, you can use it for yoga, to go to the supermarket, at laundry, anywhere you want. And it still looks cute and fashionable. And I recommend everyone want to go buy one grab a tote and go <laughs> exactly so you got colors like pink yes light, we have blue, all colors yeah yellow red yes we got like nice little eggshell yellow yeah thank you like green yeah we i love that color brown. i love the black and gold yeah that's my favorite <laughs> we got the peach we got the peach color of course black and gold and then we have another light color and spring is coming soon, so you guys get your tote bags. Exactly. So yeah. that's just one part of um, who you are. Oh, so thank you. <laughs> now, let's speak on the fact that you said you're a singer-songwriter. Yes. So, um, for singing and songwriting, how difficult is it doing that and managing everything that you have going on around you? Actually, that's the part that kind of grounds me and helps me with my when I'm having issues with my mental health and my depression or with anxiety. Music is what I go to. I've always gone to music since I was a little girl, um, writing poems. Um, I can't really say it's difficult because to me it's, it's a gift. You know, it's a talent. You know, I can write a song just inspired come from my head or I can hear a beat. Somebody gives me a beat. And if I'm feeling it, I can write to it. It comes out in English, comes out in Spanish, sometimes both, you know, but that is a gift. It's a talent, you know, that I have to just write lyrics and go with it. If I'm not feeling the, the song, I'm like, I can't write to it because it's not coming from my heart like I'm just not feeling it but I can't say it's hard to write a song for me personally because it's a, it's a gift you know and I've just been doing it for so long and I, I love doing it in, in all genres like I don't just I can only write one thing and I would love to write for for other singers and other you know artists um, I just love to write music I love music is what I turn to when I'm sad and it picks me up and when I want to you know uplift my spirit so yeah I music is my first love of course so um hold on so we do have she does have her own uh YouTube channel in case you don't know so, so she has her own YouTube channel and it's called um, La Pucci Topic. That's what I'm, so this is what she means that she, to, uh, she does music. So we're going to play one of her songs of when music comes out in English, which is very interesting to say the least. So this one's, this song is called, I Just Want to Dance. Yes, I just want to dance. I wrote that song in 2002. Wow. I, after, I, I, yeah, I, I, I had just performed right. and my family was there and they were cheering me on. And after the show, my best friend and, and myself, Carrie, we went out to celebrate. Uh, my family went home and I just, I looked at too good and too fly. And I was just so excited um, to perform live in front of an audience. And it went really, really well. So when we were at the club, I felt like a freaking celebrity when I walked in there, like, oh my gosh. But we just wanted to dance. 
I didn't want, you know, I'm not there to like meet anybody or talk to anybody. I just, we just went to have a great time and celebrate that I performed live for the first time. So it was dope. So that concept right. for the song came. I just want to dance, no numbers and no romance. Leave me alone. I'm not trying to hook up with nobody, you know? So, yeah. So and we're going to we play the song that she's talking about. Hold on, everybody. Please. So the song here is I Just Want to Dance. Mm -hmm. So I hope you do dance, everybody. I was gonna listen to the yes. song like, right now. Here we go. <laughs> Shout out to my producer, Mikey and my A. <laughs> yes. You watching me? I'm a superstar. Like I can't be. Yeah. Uh. I must be. Dreams to reality. I'm a superstar. Like on my side. No loving and no romance. No kissing, no holding hands. No numbers, not going back. back. Baby, I just wanna dance. No loving and no romance. No kissing, no holding hands. 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 That's right, baby. Girl, okay, okay, all right. But before I go to the club myself, yeah. I'm not feeling it, but it's okay. I do love the graphics they did for you, hun. Uh, thank you, thank you so I, much. I love the the Dominican flag. It says Uptown BX, Uptown the the moon and the buildings, and I love the hair. Oh yeah, the horror. Yeah, the horror. <laughs> it the, it, the, the horror. horror. It made its debut. Yes. <laughs> well, that's one song, and you also have another song too. I see, mi amor, pero lo español, oh, latinas. Yes. yes. Because you know, you'll never hear the end of it if you don't do it. No, mi amor, y súper orgullosa de, de hablar español y, y ser latina y ser dominicana hasta la tambora. That's right. That's why we got to better say that, porque si no, muchach. Bueno, me come, me come. Yeah. Okay, so this song is called Le Lo Lai. So let, yes. let's take a listen to it. I hope you all enjoy it. And here we go. Make sure, okay, and Que de tu presión nunca se apagaré. 
me fui, me fui, me fui. Se soltó la puji. So, um, so you've done music, you have a oh. clothing line, you were a teacher. I can't hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? Hold on. I can't hear. I lost sound. Hello. Okay, can you hear me now? I can't hear her. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, oh okay. We're, I think we're back. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah. So, okay. Right. so we talked about your music. We also talked about um, your clothing line. You said that you were a teacher many moons ago. Oh, yes. I will always be a teacher forever. <laughs> yes, I am an ESE um, um, K-12 elementary teacher. Okay. I am certified in elementary. I'm a certified um, teacher in art for autism. Um, I have, I was a teacher in New York and also in the state of Florida. Okay. So, um, if you could contrast and compare, um, in terms of what was demanded here in New York in contrast to Florida, it, was there any difference or was it all the same? Um, they were different. They were similar. Like, um, do you mean to become a teacher or the education period? No, I mean, like, for example, um, like there's certain curriculum you had to teach. Oh, there's totally. Yeah. To night and day. Out. Yeah. Night and day. I, I say this when I, I moved from the Bronx here um, over 10 years ago, um, I left because I was teaching in the Bronx and I was not happy. You know, I as a mother, I was like, I cannot put my my daughters in, in a public school or a private school. I went to private school my whole life. So there's no, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, it's no different. Um, so I moved here because I wanted them to get a different perspective. And it worked up until I have a son now who's 11. So now I'm doing the opposite. I had to remove him from the Florida school system because it wasn't up to par for my, you know, to what they should be learning. So it's kind of a switcheroo now, you know, as before, you know what I mean? Like before I was like kind of running out, like I'll, I'll teach in New York all day, every day, but it's different when, you know, it's my kids and I'm putting them into school and I'm making sure they get the best education, you know? Yeah, so now it's the reverse. I feel like now New York is kind of <laughs> where it should be because New York teaches pretty much everything that the kids should be learning as opposed to here in Florida. What's happening now? That's true. Yeah. So, so um, in terms of um, I don't everything know, that you've done, no, I, I got lost, you. Um, oh, hello? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, now I can hear you. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. So, um, you okay, you have a fashion, you have a clothing line, you do music, you've been a teacher. Okay, so here's a topic that very few people probably know about. But now that it's after the year 2010, this is the, for the last, I'd like to say 12 years in county, there's been an explosion about mental health. There's been an explosion of, you know, advocating for what you need. But then also in the same token, there's a lot of like suicides, which is insane. No one can ever understand the reason. And uh, it's just happening at a crazier rate. Uh, with respect to, um, what I said earlier about, you know, the explosion about mental health. Mm -hmm. um, what would you like, what would be your grain of the sand? What would be your grain in the sand for that? Um, that I am also an advocate for mental health. I'm not only a client, but, <laughs> you know, and I think mental health is a, is, is a priority for me. It's a priority in my household. It's a priority for my family. Um, I'm trying to um, heal generational wound, um, wounds and generational curses and change, you know, just because, you know, it was done one way before it doesn't work like that now we are in different times especially in our culture eh, lo, tiempo han cambiado. 
and what worked for our parents and their parents does not work for us or our kids anymore. And we have to um, put ourselves first. Self-care is important and um, mental health is important. I have an amazing trauma therapist and I advocate for, for mental health, just like I go to all my other doctors, just like I go get my hair done every week. I have my appointment and that's super that has changed my entire life. It's made me a better human, a better mother, a better wife and a better entertainer artist because it's helped me heal some, you know, where some of my pain and my trauma has come from. And I've been able to kind of identify and break it down and, and speak. I need, I feel, I want. That's and those right. are things that, you know, I'm not only like to talk the talk, I, we are an example for our own children. You know, right. I have daughters and I have a son who look at me as an example. What I eat, how I walk, what I talk, what I do with my spare time and my mental health is on the top of top of the game for that for me. So I, I there's no don't be ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed about. Um, we need to take that away. You know, I can be talented. I am a professional. I have a career. I have degrees. I have a master's degree. That doesn't change anything. I still have to see my trauma therapist every week, you know, and I'm grateful for that because many of us, unfortunately, don't have the the opportunity to do that or the means to do that or how to do that. So anyone out there who's struggling, whatever your age, if you're struggling, please get help. You don't have to do this alone and it's okay. Just like we go get our nails done, our hair done, we go shopping, we eat, we drink, our mental health is the number one thing because we need this in order to keep everything going. So Exactly. So with that, I'd like to say thank you to Lapucci for being here. Thank you so much for inviting me again. Thank you, <laughs> yeah, thank you for your message and thank you for your time and thank you for being here. And, thank you. Uh, let's keep it up. Let's keep going. So yes, keep going. yes. And to everyone up. watching, I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in and keep supporting us and keep creating. Yes. <laughs>